Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I will talk about the buffer load, what buffer load is and uh, its different options like incremental and stale after two days. So here two days is just, just an example. You can specify uh, whatever number of days and we will look into it what it is and uh, how to specify it into the script. So let's first discuss about what buffer load is. So buffer is a keyword that is used prior to load and select statement to specify that you want click view to create QVD or click view document file automatically. Now what that mean is that uh, once the QVD or click view document file is created automatically then you can use it again uh, the QVD file instead of the Excel or the database SQL database table uh, again into the same load statement or somewhere into the same script so that the user experience or the data load is faster as you are aware that uh, when you load the data from QVD as compared to a direct file or a table the data load becomes faster. So let's quickly go and uh, create a buffer uh, QVD or a, a QVD via buffer keyword. So for that I will just press Ctrl E to go into the edit script. Here I have one table data for which I am loading uh, some data for Geo Sales and Target from this uh, XLSX file and prior to this I will just mention buffer buffer and a space and you can see that buffer is now converted to a blue text which is indicating that it is a keyword. So once I save this and hit the reload button, it will not specify anything over here. But in the background, a QVD is created. Now to see where, where this QVD is created, you need to know what's the location. So to know the location of the QVD, you need to go into settings, go to user preferences, and under the locations tab, you have this QVD buffer option or a QVD buffer location where it is indicating that it is saved somewhere in app data, local, quick tag, quick view and buffers folder. So I have it specified here in my run dialog box which you can get it by pressing windows R key and the same same path is specified over here. Quick tag, quick view and buffers. Once I click OK, I see this the file is being created and it has been given a name. So this is a name which is automatically given by Quick View and it is uh, a 160 bit hexadecimal hash which has been calculated over the entire load or select statement. So we'll not go much deep into how it's been created because that's something Quick View automatically does it. But the main concept here to understand is that next time when you will run the file, run the same load statement, it will not indicate the Excel file or the database table, but it will going to indicate this buffer file because we have already specified that keyword over there, which is indicating that a buffer is already been created. So it will the load statement will first look at the QVD file, but if there is any kind of change in the base Excel file or the database table then in that case the the load or select statement will not point to the QVD file it will point to the new Excel or the new uh, database table and load the data so that's the key to understand when it will going to indicate the QVD file or when it will going to indicate the uh, the Q the uh, database table so let's go back to the click view file and see a couple of other things. So this is a buffer load select statement which we just talked about. Now let's see uh, what are its couple of different properties. So one other property is how long it will going to be there in that folder. So that can be specified over here that stale after two days that you just you don't want that QVD file and let the click view take an action of make, making it a stale file after two days. You can spec also specify the number of hours. So for that, uh, let's quickly go into the edit script and see how you can specify this. So right after the buffer, you will open the parenthesis and 
open and close the parenthesis and say stale after and you can say two so here you are getting two options hour and hours you need to choose the hours because that's something related to the stale options and you will see that script is working perfectly fine so you can specify hours you can specify days according to your own requirement but if you don't specify this so let's quickly remove this and see so if you don't specify any of this option then that when it will become stale then there are couple of things to notice that when it will going to become stale so the QVD which is created by this buffer statement will going will be removed if it is not referenced anywhere in this document in any of this script or if the document is removed completely then that QVD file will also be removed so these are the two ways uh, when you can say that uh, this QVD file will going to be removed from that folder when it is not referenced anywhere in this script which has created it and or if the document itself is completely removed but if you don't want this to be happen then in that case you need to make sure that you are checking couple of options which is present in document properties what that mean is that you want that QVD to be in there even you are not referencing anywhere in the script or even the document is removed but you want that QVD in that folder then here are a couple of things that you need to do so I'll just come out from that script go to settings and under document properties here I will keep this option within the general tab I'll keep this option keep unreferenced QVD buffer so that will going to make sure that even if you have not referenced that QVD into the script it should not remove it, this option will going to keep it that unreferenced QVD so for now let's uncheck this and click OK there is another option in settings user preferences and then you need to go into general tab and here keep orphaned QVD buffers so it is orphaned because uh, the you may have removed the click view document and it is there as an orphaned QVD not related to any of the click view document so if you want to keep orphaned QVDs, then you can specify this option that will keep your QVDs for your future use. So for now, let's uncheck this and click OK. So in both document properties and user preferences, you need to go and specify the options according to your requirement. And the last option is using the incremental option. What that mean is that if there is a new data which is being added to the uh, the database table or the Excel file or any of the source files then this when you specify this option the old data will be will be read from the QVT file and the new data will be read or the incremental data will be read from the uh, source file in that way the data load will be very fast because uh, the click view will not be reading the entire data from the source file but it will be reading the old data from the QVT file and only the new data will be read from the, the source file so how you can do it we'll go into edit script and quickly see that how you can specify so after before you again need to open and close the parenthesis and specify incremental option that's all you need to do to achieve it you need to click save and hit the reload to get the desired behavior so for now I am not just loading the data but uh, hitting the OK button and uh, that's I think pretty much all I wanted to discuss about this buffer keyword. I hope you will find this video useful and I will meet you in the new video with a new topic.